what is happening guys it's scott from king vehicle damage repair just fueled up it is tuesday wednesday actually and uh today you guys are coming on a journey with me so let's go let's get on the road we're heading out towards banstead sort of surrey way and yeah as i say let's do this <laughs> turn up Obviously the weather is pretty poor today and we've got this bmw x2 down here first things first we just need to get the vehicle dried off but you can certainly see that the trim is damaged and if you look closer you'll see there's some scratches where the customer has touched it up so we'll get it dried off get an assessment done and we'll go from there part of the preparation process is complete as you can see the painted area up here has all been sanded the trims have also been sanded as well above and below what we'll do is we'll prep the complete job together we need to key up these areas here that are shiny because if you spray over shiny parts of the car with the new paint then all that will happen is it will delaminate at a later stage also re remove the trim on the bottom to make life easier and then once we've prepped up the complete job, we'll work on the trims, we're finishing those first. Once we're happy with those, then we'll work on the painted section, completing the process. Okay, so we've got the trims prepped and masked. Now these trims are finished with aerosols. What you can see down here is dark gray aerosol color. Now, obviously I know this is dark grey, but you can get black, medium grey, light grey. You've also got a texture application. You can get that in fine, medium coarseness or very coarse, and also a, an adhesion promoter. That goes onto the raw plastic, um, and that just basically helps the aerosol paint to stick to the panel. So what we're going to go with first is the adhesion, then we'll put the texture, which will replicate the textured finish of the trim, and then we'll apply a dark grey over the top. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? Trims are now drying following the application with infrared lamps it's so important that these trims are dried a hundred percent super thoroughly because i'm going to need going to need to mask on these shortly and um we don't want it coming off so yeah good infrared for about 15 minutes then we'll pull that off and start the next process all right so cars all sheeted up repair area has been masked just a little bit of primer to go on and then we'll get the paint application underway. Base coat has just been applied. That's the black, which you can see around the masking tape. Next is gonna be the clear coat. That's gonna be the gloss that covers the black and makes the bumper nice and shiny. So keep watching for the application process. you have the completed repair guys bumper scuff complete as well as the trims all restored to new and this is what we do come out to your place of work home any location of your choice 
and carry out repairs so you don't have to pick up them body shop bills. Guys, the sun has set, the light has faded and I'm just gonna outro this video. So hopefully I've given you a little bit of an insight into King Vehicle Damage Repair. If this video has come across a little bit rough and ready, it's largely because I've been filming it. Um, as well as being in front, I've been manning the camera today. Whilst I'm pretty damn good at body work, I'm no cameraman. But I've got a solution. One thing I can tell you is the more we upload, the better our videos will get in terms of content and quality. So watch this space. That said, we've got to start somewhere. This is the first video. I've been keen to get you guys the content on the YouTube platform that you've been asking me for on Instagram. And I am on an absolute mission to create a presence on the YouTube platform. We've been on Instagram for about the last year and a half and gained some great traction on there. So I can't see why we can't achieve the same results on YouTube. So as I say, watch this space, do me a favor. If you've liked the video, hit the like button, share the video. If you know anyone that needs a repair, then repair and get in touch with us. All the details will be in the description below. And the most important, subscribe to our channel. We need to gain that following. So other than that, I'll check in with you lot in the next one.